Hello and welcome back to another episode of Sharissa Reads, episode six. We're going to be talking about The Honest Enneagram by Sarah Jane Case. This Instagram page, she has an Instagram page, it's called Enneagram and Coffee, and it's so beautiful and so uplifting, and I encourage you to just to check out her Instagram page, even if you don't read this book, which I think you should. Okay, so the Enneagram. The Enneagram is a personality index, similar to if we were to take like a personality test and it says like, oh, you're extroverted or you're introverted or you're more open to new experiences or whatever it may be. So similar to that, except that there isn't really a valid test for it. So for different personality tests, there's like the Neo is one of them or and all these various things that you can go online and take like a version of these bigger tests that have been used by all different types of psychologists and have been kind of run through the ringer as to say these are the types of characteristics these are the types of questions and then that gives you a result for the type of personality that you have and it should tell you something about yourself something that you would already know about who you are and it would kind of be like you were being told like oh this is who you are like like astrology like if you're you identify with a specific i am this person and those are my characters and those are my personality traits that is similar to what the enneagram is teaching so the enneagram is a personality measure, but there aren't really any clear tests for it. And the people that write about the Enneagram recommend that you read the different books about them, read the different online, or on read online about the different characteristics of the different per personality types to see which one fits you best. And not even just the actual characteristics, but even deeper than that, the motivation behind those personality types. So it's kind of really like deep and interesting and I love learning about myself. Like anytime I can get a little bit deeper into who I am and kind of understand why I operate in the world the way that I do, I feel like I've got like a leg up, like I'm kind of cheating the system. Like somebody is telling me, the reason that you do this is because of this and if you don't wanna do that anymore, you have to change this. And it's kind of like getting like a secret code book, like here is the secret code to you. And that's kind of how I feel about the Enneagram, along with other types of personality tests. But this one, because it's really up to you to decide what your type is and what you identify with. And that's kind of intriguing to me because then I feel like, oh, it's like even more research that you have to do. So this book, so beautiful. It's called The Honest Enneagram. She did like this like tricky little thing where she turned honest into an acronym and she puts it on the back of her book. So H stands for honor your strengths. O is open your eyes to blind spots. Ah, this is hard to read because you're learning about yourself and somebody else is telling you like, this might be a blind spot that you need to focus on. So interesting. Note your support plan. So tell people, other people, what you're gonna do. So I'm going to work on these character parts of myself and I want specific people in my life to be helping me. That's your, like, what are you gonna do for support? And who are you gonna have? Um, e, explore your relationships. And this is helpful to find out like, if you identify with a specific type, then you can kind of also see how you show up in relationships with other people, whether you're more guarded, whether you're letting people in, whether you're kind of letting people take too much, uh, being like really giving and really graceful about your life, kind of having, allowing people to take too much from you becomes the downside to that. So exploring your relationships. S is for soften your path. This is where she gets really sweet. And then the last one is turn that into something beautiful. And each chapter is one number in the Enneagram. Each personality is attached to a number. The numbers go from one to nine. So one is a character is a personality type, two is a personality type, three is a personality type, etc. And she writes her book exactly that way. And at the beginning of each chapter, I love this so much. I've actually this is my third book of reading about the Enneagram. And this one I'm sharing with you first because I just loved the way she wrote from the beginning to the end. It was very consistent and each profile, each personality type has 
these exact same things that you can look forward to. So in each chapter, she gives you a breakdown of honest and each person or each personality type gets a listen in honoring your strengths and opening your eyes to blind spots and noting your support plan, but specifically tailored to that personality type. So amazing. Okay. The very beginning of each chapter, she gives a bingo list. So I'm showing mine because I am pretty sure, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, I think I like still wanna do more research, but funnily enough, that's like a, actually like part of the characteristics of, of a five is to be like, I'm not ready, I haven't done enough research. Um, so it gives you like a bingo list. And as you can see on my bingo list, every single one is checked off. So that should be an indication to me, but I don't know, for some reason it just isn't enough. Uh, next to that, she gives like these funny little quotes. It isn't the same in every chapter, but there is a blurb per every chapter. For this one, it's how you confuse others. And it says each Enneagram type. So each, in, each one would have like a different expectation. Okay, so each chapter is the type, but it's broken down very specifically and every single chapter is exactly the same. So you get the same information for each type and then you also get the motivations behind it. You also get what you would look like in that health, in that personality type if you were like really healthy and strong in your foundation of who you are. And you also get a blurb or a description of who you would be if you were kind of in a stress state or you were kind of the, the unhealthiest version of your personality. This is like, I mean, it's hard to read because you learn about yourself, but it's cool to read because you get to learn about yourself. So in each one, there's the levels of health. So if you're healthy, if you're average, or if you're unhealthy. And you see, I kind of marked the, un, the average. I don't know, I'll read it to you. In most cases, our type fives are afraid they need more and more research and preparation to be qualified to take action. They are unsure of themselves fearful of the needs of others, and live with a wall up to protect against intrusion of others. They minimize their own needs and hoard the resources until they have that they have available to them. It's hard to read about yourself. Okay, but it also gives you what your strengths are. So this is the strengths list of a type five for me. And it's really beautiful because it says, like these are the things that you're really good at lean on them. And then the things that you really kind of need to work on, like the blind spots, are things that you can do better at. So I kind of liked it. It kind of felt like I was getting homework. It was like, okay, so I know a little bit about myself. I know where my struggles are. I know where my challenges lie. Now she's giving me a list of things that I can do that can kind of balance those things to get me to that healthy version of that level five. So really cool. And fives in their healthiest state, type fives become more fully connected with the world around them. They release the idea that they are not one with the world and allow themselves to participate rather than simply observe. They pursue original and creative ideas and often contribute revolutionary inventions to society. I mean, okay, so I, I wanna be a healthy five. Like if that's who I am, I wanna be that version of it. In the very end of every chapter, or at the end of every personality type, I should say, she writes this like, almost like a love letter. It's like, dear five. And it's written from her, in her own language, kind of like she's telling you, this is okay, it's cool to learn about yourself, and there's meaning behind learning for yourself, and there's, you're, this isn't in vain. You're, you're doing it for all these cool reasons. And, um, Look at, listen to this. You have so much rich and interesting insight to share. Don't hold back from authentic connection. It robs us of your brilliance. She's so kind. Like the book is just, it kind of exudes kindness. And she's writing to tell you like, these are the things about you that you might want to change. But she does it in such a nice way that it kind of feels like your best friend is on the couch with you going like, girl, you need to stop being such a, you know, or you need to get your what together, you know? And that is so helpful sometimes because we need that little boost every now and then. And I just love the way she talks about things. She really gives such a good perspective on each one of these personality types. So even if you don't really wanna know like what your Enneagram is or you're not really into studying the Enneagram, which I may or may not be, but you do learn 
a lot about a lot of things. I actually learned a lot about other people in my life, like my husband, my in-laws, my some of my friends, my sisters. I was kind of looking at like, oh, that's their number. That's what they act like. That's what their, you know, hardships are and where their struggles are. And it gives a little bit of empathy. It gives empathy for other people because when you learn about where other people are struggling and what their fears are, it gives the ability for you to look at those people and say like, oh, and now I can understand and now I can feel for you and now I can have empathy for you. So in the, in the chapters, she gives at the beginning the basic desire for each type. So a type one, the basic desire is I want to be a good person, to have balance, to live in my integrity. And then the fear, the fear is this like monkey mind that keeps coming up for us and we all kind of seem to have a theme to what those monkey mind thoughts are. And the basic fear for a type one is I'm afraid of being a bad person, of being evil or corrupt. So when you start to think about that personality type and the actions that they take in their life, and you think about their monkey mind that they have, that they've got that like, you gotta be good and you better be a good person. You better take care of everybody and do all of the things right and just and good. That's a lot of pressure. It's already so hard to be a human being, but when we add that additional pressure onto ourselves, it makes it really hard. The struggle is, is there for us. And reading about all the different types gave me a little bit more empathy towards those people, to the people who are, who are not, you know, who are, well, the people in my life that I have a hard time with, like my mother-in-law or other friends or other family members that I kind of can't really control what the environment is and what they bring to the table. And now I'm reading about these things and going, oh, that's kind of interesting. Now I understand where they're coming from. It gives me that empathy. It gives me that understanding and kind of puts us at the same level. So even more than learning about yourself, it kind of helps you learn about the people who are around you, which gives you a leg up. It's kind of like that little secret code book, not just to yourself, but everybody else too. And I don't know, I love the cover. The cover, it's like so calming and beautiful. This is the star for the Enneagram. Each point represents a number or a personality type, and then they all are connected to each other. Very beautiful. I hope you enjoy this book. Check out her Instagram page, Enneagram and Coffee, and read this book. She has a podcast, it's on Audible, so you can listen to it. It's it's interesting, if nothing else. I hope you guys have a great day.